it will be propelled by a sound. Somebody say, by a sound. Watch this, a sound of prayer. A sound of worship. Um, I want quickly to divide the church into three. So the first third is the people right at the back. The red car carpet separation, that's you, right? And then the half of this where um, if God Peter stands, God Peter stand. Anybody and everybody in that line and behind him, that's the second group of people. And then everybody in front of God Peter is the third group of people. Do you have that church? Yeah. Then I want the people right at the back say, give joyfully this morning. Give joyfully this morning. Now you can, it's only the few right here across my hand. I want you to say, give joyfully this morning. One, two, three. Give joyfully this morning. Okay, that's good, that's good. Bless God. Now, the second group, can you say, give sacrificially this morning? Give sacrificially this morning. Okay, let me count for you. One, two, three. Give sacrificially this morning. Okay, now I'll say, They say, soul is in the middle. <laughs> So let's, let's, let's put you guys together. Give sacrificially this morning. One, two, three. Give sacrificially this morning. And the last group, right here in front, you say, give regularly. Give regularly. Give regularly. Raise the water. But here's the secret that you must understand. 
God knows how much you give. God knows how much you give. And it's not like you didn't know that. But it's, it's, it's part of the work this morning that you need to understand and know that God knows how much you give. If you give much, God knows how much you give. If you give nothing, God knows that you give nothing and that you're able to give. But the secret this morning is give joyfully, give sacrificially, and give regularly. Here's the reason why I say all of that. When we cast the, the vision 2030, it is not a man-made vision. It is not a man uh, accessible vision. It is really a vision, I believe, that is a God size. It is a vision so big that in our own ability we are not able to meet that vision. Therefore we need to submit our giving unto God. Therefore we need to always consider that when there's an opportunity to give, we must give regularly. That's the word coming back. Amen. Give regularly. You have to give regularly. And here's the thing. If you cast a big vision, like we have cast it at the 60th year of the ministry, if you cast, or the 70th year of the ministry, if you cast a big vision, it then will propel one of the reasons that propels you to give is to, to give is what will propel you to give is at the enormity of the vision. If there is no vision casted and you also don't know the vision, then it determines also how you give. In the absence of a vision, people would hold. But in the presence of a great vision, people give. But the dynamics of this vision is so huge that your giving is not going to help this vision advance. Therefore, what you have to give in all these different abilities that we can give, it's not going to be according to our ability, but only God's ability. Can somebody say amen? amen? And quickly now, I want to take a break, and I want to call Lindsay, I want to call Shane, and I want to call Rowan. Quickly come. These are guys that sit in the audience, and they might know something about the vision. What part of the vision, the vision you can do that big, what part of the vision impresses you most? Um, the, the most important part of the vision for me is how, how much we impact the voice that we have to the world, to the country, to the homes in our community. And it's not just for us, but it's for everyone that's around me. And be a voice into churches around the world. Um, and we carry a flame that can't be extinguished because God is with us and God is in this house. This is, for me, when I come here, I always pray and I thank God for the way that we stole upon this house and the people that this house. So for me, every, everyone that's here, that is called and that is chosen, and the impact that they have, not just for the community, but for the world. So the focus, the Lord question is that the vision is for the world, not just for the community and the city. Wonderful. Um, one of the things that stands out the most for me is given that line that says engagement and ever changing culture and ever changing gospel. And um, a couple of weeks ago, um, Robbie's um, preached about conviction. And for me, it's about like conviction without compromise. Because a lot of churches, a lot of people, and Christians even, I'd like to compromise. Because a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, and for me, even like being in the world and being in the workplace, I've just seen Christians actually compromise. And, you, and they think it's fine. Um, but a little compromise can lead to a lot of damage. So I think that, yeah. It's the part, portion that says preach the never changing gospel into the ever changing culture. That's what I mean. Robin? Good morning, church. I like what Dad said. Um, he said that the vision, the vision is not from man. But it's it's from it's from God, and I was thinking about that before he said that earlier when he asked me about vision, and I wonder I wonder if you think of it like this because this is the thought I have that 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 the vision is actually what God sees. We we hear the man speaking it, but but the vision, and specifically for this church, is actually what God sees for this church. So it's what God sees us doing. Uh, yesterday we were at Megan's wedding, and I saw two types of people 
I saw two types of faces, two types of countenances. I heard, um, I heard two types of sounds. And I think that it was prophetic in a way because of what God is, is, is wanting to do through this church. And we need to understand uh, the vision of the church and the, 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 the prophetic significance behind it. So that, like that said, we can, we can really give, the more we can understand it, the more we'll, we'll get behind the vision and contribute in the way that we want to. But specifically, we heard that said earlier that, that God has called this church to create a specific sound. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but this is the year of the of the gate. It's a year of eight. It's a year of eight. It's a year of new beginnings, but it's also the year of the gate, and the gate needs to be passed through. And we remember earlier in the year that Dad spoke about about um, this is nothing else but the house of God, the gateway to heaven, and and this is a very significant gate in the earth for what God wants to bring into the earth and what He wants to do in the earth through this group of people and we need to understand that. So I just want to read the scripture so that we can understand even more um, just the, the significance of, of the vision that God has for us. And it's in, it's in Isaiah 62 verse 10. So it says, pass through, pass through the gates, prepare the way for the people. Build up, build up the highway, remove the stones, raise a banner for the nations. We are at a gate. Our, our, our worship and our praise and our lives, the things that we've been doing has brought us, has created a gate and has brought us to a gate. But it's more than just about us, it's about what God wants to do through us and the people in the city and in the, in the nations that God wants to reach us through us. What we need to understand is that at the gate there's always opposition. So can I say that things, to, to cut short, things happen at the gate. So listen to this. We need to pass through the gates and we need to prepare the way for the people. We need to build up the highway. We need, we need to remove the stones, the things that will, in people's lives, that will prevent them from experiencing the goodness and the glory of God. The way we do, we are busy removing that and we are creating a highway for people to come into the presence of God. That is the responsibility that God has placed on us. So some of the things that need to happen at this gate is, is the Bible says we need to lift up our gates, our praise. We need to and, and we need to really look at our giving as well. Andrew mentioned something a few weeks ago. He said we need to put seeds at the gate. So can I just end off with this and say that we are at the gate. It's a very significant time, but this is a very significant place in the earth. And there are very significant things that need to take place at the gate in order for us to go through the gate. But it's more than just about us. Because when David slayed Goliath, he took people with him. The king promised him that he would take, that his family would live a different life. So as we go through, as we give to God and as we praise God and we create a sound, we are, take, we are going through, or we are taking people through and God's going to send people from this church into the nations to impact the nations. And that is the significant vision that God has for this church. Thank you, Lindsay, Shane, and Rowan. When more people understand the vision, the more it will propel you to ask on behalf of the vision, ask on behalf of what God wants to see fulfilled through this church, for God to bless you with resources, so that you can bring the resources to the house of God. It now becomes incumbent upon you to speak to God on behalf of the vision. It is so big that not even the way we give, not even what we have, Therefore, we have to start believing God for supernatural finances and resources to come in. Can you believe that this morning with me, church? And when, here's the significant thing that I want to conclude with. When we cast the vision, let me also just say that the vision 2030, I preached a sermon. It is at the back. You can get the DVD and pay for it later. It will empower you, it will excel you even in your own vision. So here's what I conclude with. 
The minute we cast the vision, 2013, the minute the vision was released and launched, so many more expenses came to the church that it even to the point depletes what we have. When we had the storm, the projector was up here and the water took into the projector and that projector is just under 40,000 there. We cannot even have a, a Vicky Mouse 5,000, 6,000 energy projecting here because of the way God allows us to present. Water took into that projector. We currently have a projector that we rent for about a thousand a week. But our projector scheme for repairs is now being declared um, absolute and the insurance is now negotiating to purchase us a new projector. So pray that God we are wise too, amen. We have insurance, praise God. And insurance is going to cover certain aspects of it. But I'm not asking you to give it to them. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm just releasing to you, whenever you launch a huge vision, more expenses come to the church. We have so many more young people that desire to come to the church. And whenever there's a group of young people, wherever they are, that desires to come, I say, release a combi. Our, our transport board on a week is how much faster Bradley? Because he gives to that directly. It's, a, it's between 5,000 and 7,000 and just a week to get people from Friday night to Sunday. Because this is the plan of God for this church, is to touch people wherever. Just this week or last week, I went to look at a building in the northern suburbs to start a church in the northern suburbs. I'm going to start working and see what God is, where God is taking this vision. There are two buildings. The one building uh, Bishop Stephen took us to, and then the other building we, we, we negotiated with this people. Listen to this. And I do this by faith. The man wants to sell the building for six million rand. Who are all from the north? Just wave your hands really quickly. Who are all from the north? Look around you. Look at all the people from the north. God is pointing out New Hope Church even in the north. Come on, somebody. Ooh, you, you guys are not rejoicing with me. And then this week I went to a theater in a hotel in town to, to find out if we can use this building to have church here. Now we don't say to have a session or a this or a that. To have church here in a hotel. And we pray if it's God's will that we will go in there. We're getting ready to, to move with the vision. Are you ready to come alongside the vision? Move through the spirit with me. Don't look as if you want to. Wow, 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 Therefore, I know that which we bring in in tithing and offering is not going to help this vision. And I appeal to you to, to pray that God will even now start allowing us to get beyond our timing and our offering to propel this vision and i now want to declare prophetically over the church and over everyone that wherever you are what you stand to your feet what you stand to your feet wherever you move wherever you go god will place upon your heart the need for for vision 2030 so that you can go beyond the ability of ordinary tithing ordinary giving and ordinary income that god will supersede your income, that God will place you either in your business, God will place you in places and in positions where God will connect you with wealthy people. Come on, somebody say wealthy people. God will connect you with wealthy people that will soon ask you how much money do you need for your church? I feel there's an anointing for that coming. There's many, if you are connected to wealthy people, I just want to do a question with you. Who knows somebody that is multi-millionaire, billionaire? Who knows people like that? Who knows people like that? Who knows people like that? Come on. And I believe as you know people like that, that God will draw you closer to people like that. And as you run off on them, that God will allow them to pour over into you finances, resources for the vision. We declare and we speak this in the name of Jesus. Who are all in business today? Raise your hand very quickly. Who are all in business today? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Who are all in business today? I speak and declare as you conduct your business that God will cause you to land a multi-million rand vision or business or deal that you can, you can reap in the resources. I unlock the heaven.
heaven's above you now. Then God will speak in people's hearts to give you the word now in the name of Jesus. Who needs a promotion so that they can increase their tithing this morning? This is the special moment. Who needs promotion in their work so that their tithing can increase? I need it all hands to go up. I need it all hands to go up. Who needs a promotion in their, in their jobs so that their tithing can increase? Father, I now declare in whosoever heart you will have to speak to promote your people so that increases can come to them. I declare that over their lives right now in the name of Jesus. Come and make a sound as we believe what us. What was released in the atmosphere will not come into manifestation. Will not come into manifestation. And I'm giving this to you now. I'm giving this to push the vision. I'm giving this to make God's vision be fulfilled in the atmosphere. I call thousand million rand, hundred thousand rand incomes, uh, checks to come in. I, I, I declare hundred thousand rand transfers into the church's account. I declare thousands and thousands and rands of transfers come from this group of people and people overseas people that were coming here and say i don't know you we have somebody like this that came in this week i don't know what you do but i know what you are doing and the way it looks here it looks as if you don't have enough money to fulfill this vision i call people in like that that they will come and lay their resources before the feet of the apostles because of what God is doing. Somebody give the Lord praise in this place. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, under that anointing as we bring offerings, tithing, we speak it will bring life to this vision. The vision is to win 12,000 people by the year 2030. The vision is to establish centers of this ministry all over the city of Cape Town, where we can speak to the nations. We declare that manifest in this, in this atmosphere right now. Listen, I've been in this, in this ministry, in, 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 in this vision, for 17 years of my life. I've seen how God, some of you that, that, that has been with the ministry for all that time, know how God has progressed this ministry. When we were renting buildings from now, we own our own building. We were doing things and we just about make it. But we believe that God is superseding, accelerating, increasing momentum right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, as your people will bring sacrifices joyfully and regularly, we speak right now that you bless them, O God. It will be propelled by a sound. Somebody say, by a sound. What's this? A sound of prayer. A sound of worship. Division and change atmospheres supernaturally.